Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for another episode of Bob TV putting the warthog together. Oh yeah guys, it's still sitting over there. But I gotta get this thing figured out now without having it be too much of a dang mess. Okay, I was reading in the on the computer the little bit they had trying to study this for a little bit then that King Kong movie came on with Jack Black that is the best King Kong movie ever made okay guys now I got a nice big compartment here but on the pooter over there it says be sure and keep all your stuff forward uh, or you'll end up tail heavy and I can believe that. Okay, we're gonna have four batteries in the nose, but still, even on that, on them instructions, they said be careful. Okay, now I got lots of room under these tanks. Okay, but them tanks are gonna be glued in, and I don't want to put nothing there. And I got a bunch of stuff to cram in here, guys. I got a bunch of stuff. Glad them turbines ain't got no, uh, all they got is a fuel pump and this tiny ECU. Okay, and these, uh, this is the, uh, uh, the ground unit, and they're tiny. <laughs> they got some big ones with them, but you can buy these for them King Techs and just mount these in the plane. I got a really good idea for these. i have them pop up. Oh, and you can see it when you start the motors. Uh, now the canopy, they're talking about screwing the cockpit down, but then most, but then they're showing putting the switches in here. So I ain't got that far, but I don't know. This is gonna take some serious, serious Bob O'Neering at its finest here, guys. But it says also, you see it. Put these full. These are UATs. And so they got to come up front, too. Got a nice big spot. That's going to be my central mass control unit. <laughs> My CMUS system. Okay, and the, and the book it's showing these on the computer, it's showing these bulkheads cut out for these tanks, but they're not. I think I'm going to uh, try and make some bulkheads where they'll fit in because they just don't fit. I wish they would go all the way down. That'd give me the top. I'm going to put stuff on top of them. You know, now I could do this without coming in here and making a bunch of extension cords. Cause I can't, I can't replicate this one. I don't have the. I can make the six pin cords, but this is like a ten. Let's go into the turbine so I can get the ECUs this far. Okay. And then the fuel pump. And this plugs into the ECU, this one plugs into the battery. So I can take these fuel pumps on up here with my UATs. And put them up there. This is going to take some serious bobble nearing at its finest. <laughs> okay. I'm going to mark me a board. Got a little mark there. A little mark right there. Just, just some light ply. Just regular light ply. Not the hard ply, but the light ply. Okay.
to the sander. Clean them up. So, I use the rest for my fuel pumps. Okay. Okay. Gotta clean this board up a minute. I don't like putting rough edges. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now. Yes. Gonna go right there. Right there, like so. And what? Fits a little bit better, like so.
Gotta get my mojo back, man. Been trying to <laughs> lately. Been trying to get my mojo back. Alright. You wanna put that there? You know what? They were way too tall. Way too tall. Alright. Thank you a minute. So go like this. I gotta keep these as low as I can. them fuel pumps on here too. Fasten them down. Oh, do That's the simple part. Alright. You're gonna do this to where. You can take these out if you have to, if you're having issues with them or something. You can right down there. in the bottom of the wood too. Alright. 
There's some long skinny zip ties. One of them ain't gonna be long enough, so I'll put two together. Yeah, you can put zip ties together. Oh, Steve O'Blaster says, Bob, couldn't you just put that pipe on the bandsaw <laughs> for the F4? I could cut it with a cutoff wheel. I think that's what I'll do. I only need to come off about an inch and a half. If I take a half an inch off the front, three quarters of an inch off the front, and a half inch off the back. I think I'll be alright. I kind of priced a new pipe today. Wow, Tam Jet has raised his prices. $650 for a pipe for the F4. That's nuts, man. That's a custom pipe from Tamjet. But I need to talk with old Jet Doctor. Are you still out there? Uh, I got an AMT in there. I got a couple questions about. Jonathan? Is Andrew still watching our videos? <laughs> Give us a shout out there, Andrew. Oh, don't go on. I got a question on the AMT. I might have to put an AMT in that F4. I don't want to. I want to go with that P200, man. But I don't want to lose it either. Give me a little shout out if you're still listening there, Andrew. And if you are, I'll uh, make a video tomorrow and explain what I'm talking about. Maybe you can just talk me through it. Bam. Okay, nice little... UAT holder, bam. Oh, we'll do the same thing over here. Old Jet Doctor, he's from he's from the UK. You guys remember him, don't you? He was pretty helpful when we was uh, installing them turbines in the Tomcat. Never met him. I like him. <laughs> He's Jonathan's buddy. I know you remember Jonathan. <laughs> 